are you looking to manage your Azure infrastructure more efficiently? In this video, I will compare two popular infrastructure as a code tools, Terraform and Bicep. I will break down their differences, strengths and use cases to help you decide which one is right for your projects. Stay tuned. Welcome to the video, my name is Alexi and on this channel I cover Must Fabric and Azure related topics. Without further ado, let's dive right into the world of infrastructure as a code. Infrastructure as a Code or IAC is a key DevOps practice that involves managing and provisioning computing infrastructure through machine readable configuration files rather than physical hardware configuration or interactive configuration tools. In the Azure context, this means that instead of using Azure Portal to create and manage your Azure resources, you would use these configuration files for that. This approach brings several benefits like consistency, speed, and scalability in deploying and managing infrastructure. Now, let's compare Terraform and Bicep on several fronts to understand their unique strengths and where they might fall short. Let's start with the language and syntax of these tools. Terraform uses its own domain-specific language, HashiCorp's configuration language or HCL. It's known for being versatile and capable of managing infrastructure across various cloud providers, not just Azure. Bicep, on the other hand, is a language especially designed for Azure, simplifying the complexities of ARM templates with a more readable and concise syntax. While Bicep's simplicity is a plus, Terraform's versatility gives it a broader appeal for those managing diverse environments. Next, let's look at provider support. One of Terraform's biggest strengths is its smooth cloud capability. Terraform supports a wide range of providers including AWS, Google Cloud and Azure, making it an excellent choice for multi-cloud environments. Bicep, however, is tightly integrated with Azure. While Bicep excels in Azure-centric scenarios, Terraform's extensive provider support makes it go-to tool for enterprises with complex multi-cloud strategies. Let's compare their maturity and community support. Terraform has been around since 2014 and has a large active community and extensive documentation. This maturity translates to stability and wealth of resources for troubleshooting and best practices. Bicep, introduced by Microsoft in 2020, is newer and rapidly growing but still catching up in the terms of community support and resources. For those looking for a well-established tool with a rich ecosystem, Terraform is hard to beat. Now let's discuss tooling and integration. Both Terraform and Bicep have excellent tooling support. Terraform integrates well with various CI CD pipelines and has a robust state management system, which is critical for managing infrastructure changes. Bicep integrates seamlessly with Azure DevOps and other Microsoft tools, providing a smooth experience for Azure centric workflows. However, Terraform's wider spread use means it has often better integration with a broader range of tools. Next, state management. State management is a crucial aspect of IAC. Terraform uses state files to keep track of the infrastructure it manages. This allows it to efficiently determine what changes need to be applied. Bicep, on the other hand, leverages the existing ARM template deployment mechanism, which doesn't require separate state files but relies on Azure resources management for tracking state. While Bicep's approach simplifies things within Azure, Terraform state management offers more control and visibility, especially in complex environments. Finally, let's talk about the learning curve. When it comes to the learning curve, Terraform's language can be more challenging due to its broad scope and capabilities across different cloud providers. Bicep, designed to simplify ARM templates, is generally easier to learn, especially for those already familiar with Azure services and ARM. However, once you overcome Terraform's initial learning curve, the skills you gain are highly transferable across multiple cloud platforms, providing a significant advantage. In summary, if you're managing a multi-cloud environment or need a mature, widely supported tool, Terraform is way to go. However, if you're focused on Azure and want the simpler, more integrated solution, Bicep is a fantastic choice. 
What are your thoughts? Do you prefer Terraform or Bicep for your Azure IAC management? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more Azure insights. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.